everyone happy friday we're here we made it oh my goodness let's see who's in here today hey don i'm not sure oh 227 okay you are early girl hey melissa hi mick hi mary oh we look a little dark don't we um deanna oh your keyboard isn't working uh oh bummer i hate that sometimes mine does that and it's usually because i have to plug it in <laughs> hi mary and carmen Hey, Kim, you remembered. Well, funny story about remembering. Um, I actually, James isn't here right now. He is at work still. He's been working much later hours lately. Um, but I was thinking, well, I'll be thinking about it getting going when he gets home. And I was just doing some stuff and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm on in 15. <laughs> so thankfully, I mean, I had everything all set up, but we're here. We're good. Hello, Sue. Hey, PJB. Oh no, unsuccessfully house hunting. Oh girl, I hate that for you. Hey Mayhem, hi Carol, and Crystal, hello. All right, it's so good to see everybody in here. Hi Tracy, I am so happy to see everybody in here. All right, so as I said, we're going to be playing, and this is so dark. I don't know why it's so darn dark. Let's see if I can fix that a little bit. Let's go with a little more exposure. Hopefully that helps. We're just going to see about that. Um, as, as the thing said, we're going to be making a pop-up. The, the platform pop-up, it's brand new. This is probably my last buy before we move. Um, I'm not, uh, we're on a, a bit of a, a I'm going to put myself on a pay, or not pay, but like a, a buying freeze since we're going to be moving in a couple of months and I need to be saving all that to make sure that we're all good to go for a move. But this is how cool this little platform is. I made one of these ahead of time. It goes flat and you pop that little pup puppy up and look at how cute that is. I can sit on a little mantle or whatnot and I absolutely love it. I love it. Who else is in here? Did I miss somebody? Hey Zoe! I'm really crazy for paper. Girl, I am too. Yes, I keep missing folks too, and I don't want to miss anybody, but I know I do sometimes. But anyway, yeah, so um, we're going to be making, actually, hopefully if we have enough time, we'll make a couple of these. Um, but this is the first one, and I just absolutely love it. So I've got all the products here. 
yes, the platform. I just love the platform. You got yours the other day, Mayhem? Mm. Yeah, I got mine and I wanted to play instantly. So here's what it looks like. It looks intimidating like all the Lawn Fawn interactive dies do. Oh yeah, Carmen, I am a nutso for these. I mean, they're just, it looks intimidating, but this is probably one of the easiest uh, interactive dies. Yes, it is, because you could just set that up and it's just so stinking cute, but then it pops down and goes in an envelope. So easy, Mary, I just love it. Um, but yeah, this is probably one of the easiest interactive dies I've played with with Lawn Fawn. So I'm, I'm so excited to show you guys if you haven't played with it yet or if you are on the fence about it. And then I did go ahead and splurge and got the platform pop-up add-on. We'll use that on one of the cards if we have time. Uh, we're going to use the giant thank you because I just love these. And then this stamp set, which totally spoke to my heart, is the berry special from Lawn Fawn. And um, I also got this one, which is the How You Bean. It's an add-on for the, the jelly bean one, so you can put it in a jar. Um, but that makes me think that obviously you could do these on the platform that are the beans or I think there's hearts, there's stars, there's all kinds of add-ons for that little jar. But that would be fun. You could you have lots of options for these platforms. You can play with it however. Hey Laura! I know I love them too. I didn't used to love them really crazy for paper but I love them now. Um, but I had to do so something with the strawberries. So we're going to kind of stick with this color theme that I already have for you. We'll set this one off to the side and then we'll pull out the dies and things as we need them. But let's get started with our first one. All right, so here it is. I went ahead and prepped everything ahead of time so that it would make it a little bit easier. Last kit, she's going, no, yeah, no, it's, this is it for, okay, did I miss something? What did you say was your last live? No, 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 this is not my last live before I move. This is the last big purchase I'm making before we move as far as crafty supplies because I need to just kind of need to hold off <laughs> if you know what I'm saying I need to hold off as much as I want to keep getting stuff I need to I need to chill all right so a wishful hearing on your part I think she said last buy yes last buy that's exactly what it was I got mine the other day oh you've been you you're gonna have a crafty day tomorrow and play with it oh good yay hi Sharon Happy Friday. All right, so it's it's interesting. So this is, you need two of these pieces and when you run it through your die cutting machine, this will fit perfectly on a six by six. So if you have a couple pieces of six by six pattern paper and you wanna run that through and have it, have it be a nice pretty pattern, you can do that. But I found a way that you can put it on an eight and a half by 11 and have extra pieces, which is where all these came from that I die cut and colored. Um, so it will work great with that. Your first attempt, a, was a little misaligned, so you need to try again. Yep, yep. <laughs> Anxiety, Carol. No, we're all good. We are all good. Don't you worry. I am, I'm not going anywhere for a little while. I will be flying solo for the next couple of weeks, but um, I think I got it figured out, so I'm kind of, I'm doing okay on the flying solo. All right, so let's get started with our first one. So like I said, here's this piece here. We've cut out two of those. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fold along those score lines. I'm going to reinforce them just because I just like to do that. So I'm going to reinforce all those little score lines as I fold. And we just fold all the way in. That's what we're going to do. They're all good there. And then there's one right here. So we'll go ahead and fold that one into mine as well. Okay. And then we have these little T pieces. So I'm gonna, you cut out three of these. All right, and I'm gonna take the first one and there is a score line on it. So I'm gonna fold that as well. I'll try to make it straight. I sure didn't, did it? Okay. There we go. Sometimes using that heavier cardstock. I noticed when I use my magic mat, um, I don't know if you guys are used to or have you used the magic mat? when you're die cutting at all, it's supposed to help cut down on warping. And it actually it does, but it does absorb sometimes the, um, the score lines. So I don't like that, but otherwise it has been great. You have a little experience and we'll be, well, thank you, PJB. I appreciate that. Oh, did you? Oh, mayhem. I gotta see that. Please, if you do something like that on social media, tag me. I want to see it. I love seeing what y'all do. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and put our first one together. We're just going to set this off to the side because we don't need it just yet. So we have our these two pieces, and what we need is some some like quarter inch double sided tape. So I'm just going to pull this out. I have some linked down below if you do not have any. But you're going to put some on this piece right there, and then you're going to put some on this piece right here. Okay. Four to in six inches of snow. Oh, they're saying we may get some snow tonight. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right, so now I'm going to take my little piece and I'm going to flip it over so that the, the tape part will be towards the inside and I'm going to stick it through that little slot. All right, now the next thing you need to do is on that first big score line, you're just going to push it down. Okay, we're going to push it down and then what I'm going to do is make sure that my little T is pulled all the way down and I'll pull off that release paper and then I can stick that down and then we'll peel off the release paper of this this little flap and then we're going to fold this make sure it's along that score line and then just flip it over and so now we have our first piece of the platform it's all good to go so that's how easy that was so we do the same thing again you're supposed to get 8 to 12 oh <sighs> you're done with it in New England <laughs> I'm not saying I want snow I'm just saying I'm kind of kind of over the snow at this point okay so we'll do the exact same thing we did before with this one folding on all those score lines okay and I just reinforce because I just like to do that I just like to all right and then there's more score lines here which they're pretty easy to see so It's not spring, it's still winter. That's true, and aren't we supposed to have spring forward this weekend? Oof. All right, so now our next one is ready. I'm gonna pull out another T. Like I said, we needed a total of three T's. So we'll score that one, or fold that in on its score line. And then we'll do our quarter inch tape again. and then do it here as well. You were over the snow before winter even started. <laughs> oh boy, everybody's getting it. Ah, sounds awful. Hey Tristan, we're apparently getting snow tomorrow too. Everybody's getting snow. Okay, so then again, this piece, we're gonna flip it over, stick it inside of our little slot. Fold it at the big fold, the big, our first big score. Pull that nice and tight. Peel off the release paper from our little T. Again, making sure it's nice and tight. And then stick that down. Peel off the release paper for this one. And then just kind of fold it over at the next score line. Fold that over, which mine might, who knows, mine might end up being wonky too. Let's hope it's not. There we go. And then make sure that's good and tight as well. And so there is our next piece. Okay, so eventually we're going to put those babies together. But before we do, yeah, it went. It finally went in the mail today, Tristan. <laughs> uh, we. Oh golly, I don't. I don't like the idea of losing an hour of sleep. It's hard to get the sleep as it is. So supposed to be in the mid to high 80s here oh Sharon lucky you snow bomb cycle or something like oh that's awful winter weather you're still yeah Kim I was gonna say you're south of me and you're getting a winter advisory oh no it is definitely gonna be cold and they're saying that we should start getting snow around like I think 10 okay so here are our two pieces those are flat like that I'm gonna move this out of the way because the rest of those pieces are just embellishment pieces so here we have our two little platforms and I'm gonna pull out the final T so that final T we're gonna do something a little bit different with it so you can fold it on its score line and then you're just gonna cut that off so I'm gonna take my scissors <laughs> and we're gonna cut that off and it doesn't matter if you don't do it get it straight because you're not gonna see it anyway 
But what I want to do then is um, I need to tape that down. So I'm going to take my quarter inch tape again, and I'm only going to put it on the lower, the lower portion, this little base part. So we're just going to put it in the middle on the base. Okay. And I'm going to peel that off. Peel off the release paper if I can. And then we'll flip that over and I'm going to do my best to line this up so that the top part of our T will go right above the score line. And we're going to try and keep that nice and centered with the one right above it so that they're kind of in line with each other. All right. And then now we just need the tape to put it on here. So I'm going to put a couple here. Um, this one I only made, okay, so you live in, hey Beatrice, you live in uh, Arizona so you don't change times. Oh yeah, that's right, lucky Arizona, you're in the 70s, oh, hey Don, yeah, um, so I, honestly this one I just did one time. And I thought, well, I'll watch some videos if I really need to. And But this one I feel like is so easy. Oh, whoops. Before I peel that off. I'm talking and I'm not paying attention. Um, let's put tape on these little flaps. You're going to need them on the outside piece of these little flaps. So now we've got our last bits of tape on there. Okay, so you see we have tape here and here. And then we have tape here. So let's peel off the release paper on this one first. Yeah, but this one I only did one time, Dawn. And I definitely we dislike changing the clocks. Wish we just leave that. Yeah, I agree. I'm kind of over it. Asking for a friend. <laughs> um, well, you know, I couldn't wait to play with this one. If I felt like it was one that was too terrifying to do. Yeah, I don't know. All right, and that one, I just lined it up, made sure the scallop looked like it's just kind of butted it up against each other and then I put the flap down. And now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna peel off the release paper. And we're just going to fold it over on our score line as is and it should line up fairly perfectly. But that always scares me using double-sided tape, you know. Okay, and then our last piece that we do is just peel off the release paper on this one and tuck it under and fold it over. And there we have our first, our little box. It's all ready to go. See how easy that was? That was so simple. I love it. And then these three pieces are the pieces that you can put something on. So that's where all of our decorating comes in. So here's our box. We're gonna set this off to the side. You didn't think it was one of the easier ones, Mayhem? See. Okay, which one do you think is easier? Because it maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm off, which is very possible. Kudos to you, Cassie. I would just get in into a folded Chinese lantern or something. Hey, that'd be pretty impressive while trying to make it. <laughs> Thanks, Tristan. Now you need to get that. I'm telling you, it, I love it. I want to make all the box cards. Thanks, Mary. Um, and we're going to color with Prismacolors today because I just wanted to try something different. We painted last week. I do Copics so often and I love using Copics, but I love all the mediums as I always say. So I really wanted to color with some colored pencils. I cannot stand how much shadow I'm getting. Ugh. Okay. So let's move our camera in so you can kind of see what we're doing. And here's some I already colored just to, oh, this one popped out. Those are already colored and die cut, and I die cut all of these, stamped them, die cut them, and I cut, I stamped these using some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. Oh yeah, I think this is probably, oh, you think it's probably one of the easier ones that they have. Okay. You did think it was. I have to read properly, Mayhem. Give me, oh my goodness. Yes, I agree. I know. Yeah, I knew you'd like that, Tracy. Okay, so let's go ahead and color our strawberries. I picked up pinks. I wanted pinks instead of reds this time. So I just picked up some of my pink Prismas and I went ahead and sharpened them all. They're already sharpened. I just have my little Prisma sharpener and that is really kind of one of the tricks to making sure that you 
Is Max sitting on the light? Right. I know he's, it just is so dark. I cannot get over how dark it is. It could be because my, um, I knew, I know I need new lighting and I'll consider that when we move, but, um, it could be because my voiceover thingy is kind of in the way of the light now. I don't know how to change that. I don't know how to change that. You can, Tristan, programming is a whole nother language. So talking and doing a whole nother language is a whole nother thing. So you're impressive, Tristan. Yeah. Although I would still love to see you make a card. <laughs> um, no, he's not sitting on the light, but. I'm thinking it would be great with some clouds, unicorns, and a small rainbow. Oh, yes, Pam. Absolutely. You'd have a hot mess if you had to chat while making something. <laughs> No, you wouldn't, Mary. You'd be fine. Okay, so let's start with our lightest color first. I'm really trying so desperately not to make sure or making sure that I'm not covering things. So I'm going to go ahead and start very softly. So that is the thing with Prisma. I've noticed that Copics for me are the quickest coloring me medium that I have. Like I just do it and I'm done. Prisma color, I think, takes almost as long or maybe even longer than watercolor for me. Uh, but I do love the look of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put down a very light base of my pink for all of my strawberries. And I do apologize if it's if it's too dark. I'm so sorry. If Jim were here, if James were here, he'd help me fix this. But I don't know what my problem is. Maybe he can fix it before he heads out of town. Okay, so there's those little strawberries. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the struggle bus for making sure that we're not covering the light. I'm going to try and be a little bit more co conscious of that, all while staying in the, the shot. You can see what I'm doing. Thanks, Dawn. When will you be moving? Uh, it's, it's now less than two months. Yep. Your son's doing programming computer science. It's not, no, it's, no. My daughter is doing it as a um, minor, and she's, yeah. Tristan was her buddy helping her out all the time. And um, I know she, she misses her bud anyway, but yeah, he was extremely helpful. Hey, Terry, just got back from a, a huge estate sale. Oh, no stamps, bummer. Did you tell us where you'll be moving to? We are moving down to South Georgia. So we have been there before. We lived there for 10 years before. All right, I'm coming in with my next darkest color, and I'm just kind of adding the shadowing where I think it would be. I don't really have any rhyme or reason as to where it is. And I'm going light, of course, because you can always add more color, but you can't take it off. Okay. <laughs> I don't always use it, Sharon, but sometimes I do. Today I'm not going to use Gamsel, although I do think that that Gamsel does a very good job of really blending it for you. Okay, now I'm coming in with my darkest color. And then how I like to do it is just work backwards. So I got my darkest color. This, these little mice holding the strawberries just have my heart. Oh, it just gives me these warm fuzzies and makes me think about picking strawberries in my mom's strawberry patch when I was a kid. Okay, so now I'll work backwards. Grab the lighter one. Kind of blend those edges a little bit. You can always keep building that color up until you, until you can't, <laughs> until you've gone too far, I guess. Some pencils have a lot more wax on them, so and then you build that wax up and you just can't change it anymore. Okay, she's taking one of the harder classes right now. Yeah, she said it was a weed out class. You barely made an A. Tristan, you're so smart. Any good shows in that area, or stamp, any good stamp shows in that area? I don't think so. I mean, we'll be about an hour and a half south of Atlanta, so. Uh, there's always that possibility, I suppose, that something might come to Atlanta, but we'll be closer to Florida, so. And, um, as of, I don't know if any of you know of Creativation, 
but as of last week, I'm all registered for Creativation. James and I are going 90.7. Congratulations, Tristan. Strawberries, a sign of spring. Is yes, Terry, that's why I had to have them. Hey, Georgia! Anyone ever used baby oil? No, I haven't done that. Does it work? Um, so I am all set for Creativation. Those of you that don't know, it's... Uh, a place where a lot of new things get brought out and it's not just stamping related and it's where they you know show their new things to the new business or not new businesses but show their things to businesses so that they can get that out there so I may try to do a live here and there that's in April all right I think that's good that's all the pink I'm gonna do all right and then I'll bring in my green so I'm excited. Creativation should be fun. All right, so two two colors of green here, and there's lots of leaves here to do. So I'm just gonna get going on that because I want to have time to do the second one. The second one I colored all the images already, and it's basically the same color scheme, but I wanted to add that platform add-on to it to show you how that is. You wanted to go, you're still waiting on your application through NAMTA. Okay. Well, that would be so awesome to meet up, Mayhem. I have friends going to Creativation this year. Are you not going, Kim? Oh boy, Creativation, I've always wanted to go. Is this your first time? It is my first time, Carol. Um, the first time I actually thought I might be able to go was a couple years ago when we were living in El Paso. A few years ago, I guess now. When it was in Phoenix, Arizona, but my daughter had a... Um, volleyball tournament so you know how it is you don't get you have to pick and choose and the daughter won out so this will be my first one I'm very excited very excited should be so much fun okay I've used baby oil and really like it but not sure how the cards come out once they have been mailed Oh, yeah, okay, that's a, I never thought about that. Odorless paper thinner, or paint thinner works with Prisma. Yes, Sue, very, yes. So the show is down in Orlando. And um, we wanted to look at tickets to go to Disney, but it's so expensive. Um, and it's a little cheaper to go to Hollywood or Universal Studios, so we may do that one, if, if we do anything at all. It's just James and I going, so it should be fun. Um, we're going to meet up with Amanda from Pear Blossom Press and Corn Whiskman. Very excited. It should be fun. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my next color. Um, oh, awesome. Creativation should, would be so fun to attend. I'm jealous. <laughs> Tracy, yeah. I, um, every year have been so like, oh, I want to go so bad. And then the opportunity presented itself and I thought, okay, well, we're going to be, this might be the closest we'll ever be again. So I'll take advantage. Take advantage while I can. So it's not necessarily the most ideal time, I guess, just simply because we have a move right before that. But thankfully, James can take the time off and he wants to go along. He's my creative director. <laughs> or creative man, not creative manager, like my production manager, I guess. Maybe that would be the correct terminology. All right. Prismacolor is so fun. But I know why I grab Copics, because it's just usually a lot faster. Although I just, I love the Prismacolor. It's easier to take along. And that's how I feel about watercolor too. It's just easier to take along when you have to go someplace. Okay. All right, now we'll color our little mount. Well, I'll color the inside. I'm not gonna do two colors on the inside of the flower. I'm just gonna do, I just remember those tiny little flowers that were there and my mom's strawberry patch. Oh, they were so cute. <clears throat> now we'll do our little mouse and I'm gonna do him brown. You're not a member yet, okay. It is in Florida, Laura, yes. 
How does one become a member to go to Creativation? So you can sign up through NAMTA and <clears throat> it's to have a membership. It's like $200 to have a membership, I believe. And then if you have a membership, you can, or you can go with a company and you don't have to have a membership. So if you're invited by a company that has a membership, then you're good. So there's the other option. I've always wondered how people are eligible to go and why it's not open to everyone, but I really hope you're able to do some lives. I would love to too, Carol. I always wondered that uh, ahead of time as well. I think it's to maybe keep the, I don't, honestly, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is, why that is. Maybe it's just to get word out about product to companies so that if they want to order stuff and get it set up in their store, any of the new stuff that might be coming. Edma Brown. I wanted to do a little gray mouse, but I thought the brown would just, the little warm brown tones would be so good with all the strawberries. Okay, and then we'll give him a little black nose, and then I just have to color my sign and we'll be good. All right, so my sign I'm gonna do kind of gray. What is NAMTA? I don't actually know what it stands for. Yeah, it's $200. Um, I don't know, national, uh, okay, I'm terrible with acronyms. You'd think I'd be better since my husband's in the army, but I am not. <laughs> I don't know what that stands for. All right. Yeah, we're almost done here. And once all that coloring's done, then we can start decorating. And this is not the best coloring job I've ever done, but I'm so worried about that light. They recently changed it to influence used to be able to get tickets to go, but they have really limited that. I did not realize that mayhem. Interesting. Okay, so here are our images. I'm gonna back us out again. Try not to make everybody sick by doing that. And then we've got our other pieces to decorate our box as well. And I was going to put a little bow around my box. So let's start with the bow before we start putting any of our little pieces on. Now when you cut the bow out, it has a score line and I had cut mine out using my magic mat so it did have a bit of a hard time. So because you're a content creator on YouTube, does that mean you're a company? I could be. I mean I could be if I get myself a, um, a membership. Yes. You have a sign post. I know, and I didn't want that one on craft roulette. Well, now I have it, so if I get to craft roulette again, <laughs> I can do that. Okay, so, and they've got it perfectly figured out, so that way, wherever the um, score line is, it'll work around the box like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing these pieces down so that I can start getting that on there. You could use some tape again if you wanted, but I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue so that if I need to manipulate anything, I can. Okay. Maybe tape would have been better. Anyway, yeah. National Art Materials Trade Association. There you go, thanks Pam. Thank you, Crystal. How are you doing? Okay, so I think I've got that. Maybe I will switch to some tape. It might, might stay on there a little better. All right, this one I got, and I've got some eighth inch score tape as well. So that one I have scored perfectly, I think. We'll see. All right, that's why my Google search, that's what you, and your Google search is right, because that is, that does sound familiar. It's just, I could not remember what it was. So hopefully I can bring y'all some fun content from there and do a live or whatnot. Okay. Yeah, the tape is definitely easier. <laughs> okay. And then we can wrap it around the back as well. So there's a lot of fun ways that you can decorate this. And if you go to the Lawn Fawn um, website, there are so many, I mean, so many examples on there and they've used all kinds of different stamps it's not just the brand new ones 
So I, that's why I love about these particular, the lawn fawn dies because they just keep coming out with new ways, maybe not new ways to use it, but well, yeah, some of them are new ways to use it. I anticipate there'll probably be some new add-ons to go with it next time too. That'll be fun. See, this is the one that didn't have a score line, so I'm just going to have to play with it. I'm just going to have to do it. And then hope that I can get... It's easier with a score line, but it'll still go around if it doesn't have one. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, so there is our wrap around, and then we have our bow as well. I have some grass, and then I have the thank you. And I want the thank you to go on the back, and this might make it so that it may not fit into an A2 size card. So that is one thing to consider. Whatever you put on there, um, you wanna make sure that it's still gonna fit into the envelope that you're planning to use. Guessing the one without the score line is meant to go across the front. I don't know. No, because it's, it's still this one. No, it, it was still this one. There's only one die and I cut it out four times. It's just that one because I used it on my magic mat. It didn't have the score line. These kinds of cards, they very much can be intimidating, but if you just jump in there and do it, I'm telling you, it's, it's so fun. Okay, so I have the Lucky Clover Distress Ink. We're gonna do a little bit of ink blending. Here's our thank you. I taped it in place so that it would and like I said, I always do the die cutting ahead of time so that you all um, aren't sitting here just watching me do nothing but die cutting. Because there is a decent amount of die cutting with a die like this, and that's okay. All right, let's do it on the thank you part as well. I'm trying to stick it to the lower part of thank, and the lower part of you might get some of the upper part of you, but that's okay as well. Okay, and then we'll do it on our grass. Let's see how that's gonna work. That'll be cute. Yeah, I know, dyes like this can be definitely a little bit intimidating, but that's, like I said, just kinda jump in. If it's something you think you'll use, or you're like, okay, they made it look easier, maybe I can do that, then just try it, give it a try. Well, the worst that happens, I suppose, is if you don't love it. Should I add a little bit? I think I'm going to do a little in the center of our bow here. Just to add some sort of depth and dimension to that. Okay. So let's glue our bow down. So I didn't ask, what are everybody's plans this weekend? Do y'all have big plans? I probably need to clean. <laughs> but I definitely want to make time to do some crafting. Let's close this up. Makes it a little easier if I just close it up. Hey Max, are you awake? Hopefully he doesn't step on the keyboard. Okay, and then our last little piece all right, just goes on top of the bow. And you don't have to go this crazy doing all this kind of decorating with it. Um, like the front of the, I just thought that little bow was so stinking cute. Oh, you're not wanting to stay down, are you? Okay. All right, and then the next thing is our, I'm gonna add glue to it. So let's pull this out. We had a little bit of an issue. Looks like I'm gonna have to trim that with my scissors. Sometimes that magic mat, I'm telling you. Uh, watch the Lawn Fawn channel and my credit card starts to melt. I'm telling you, I hear you there. 
I hear you there. That's exactly what happened. So if they come out with another release, I just better avoid it. <laughs> Their little critters are so cute. Okay. And actually, it'd probably be a good idea for me to um, have cut that out a few times. But I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to put a little glue on the bottom. And we'll attach this to this part. I'm going to squeeze it so that way. Guessing the one without the score. Oh, yeah. Um, your plan is to stay warm. Yep, good idea. Another snowstorm. Yeah. Oh, your granddaughter's coming for a visit for the weekend. How wonderful, Mary. That should be a good time. Have a t-shirt quilt I'm hoping to get together. Very awesome. Board game group. Oh, how fun, Melissa. And a hockey game Sunday. You guys have some good plans. That sounds awesome. <laughs> Can you hear that? That is Max. Trying to pick up a pen. Probably try to run off with it. Uh, I will have to let you know if I go. Oh, I love Amanda. She's awesome and so sweet. Yes, she is. She is the best. She is like the best. Yes, please let me know if you go. Your daughter Rebecca is coming home tomorrow for spring break from CSU. Awesome. That's awesome, Crystal. Marsh Madness, baby. <laughs> Be watching men's college basketball. Well, our team wasn't ever in the playoffs, but we were watching. So, okay, so here we have grass put in there. Ooh, now it's time to put our little <coughs> our little mice and stuff in here. And I wasn't sure exactly how many I wanted or where I wanted to put them. But this is not, okay, yeah, there it is. What is the deal, yo? I'm telling you, I think my that magic mat didn't do a very good job. Okay, because we're having an issue with cut. There we go. Good grief. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Hoping to do some crafting, Deanna. Awesome. You had cataract surgery. Oh, goodness, Deanna. Uh, ooh, 2030 in that eye. That's impressive. What an amazing transformation. That's wonderful. All right, so I'm going to put this piece in the middle because it'll fit there pretty well. I like that. That's cute. Well, I hope that you just keep getting better, Deanna. That is, wow. No fun, but hopefully you'll be crafting before you know it. You're going to bake bread. Ooh, Mary, that sounds awesome. Max has a letter to write. Well, he's, as long as he's not stepping on my keyboard. Come here, you want to say hi? Hmm? <laughs> what do you think, buddy? You need your nails trimmed. He's like, I'm out of here. I am. I don't want to be on screen. <laughs> it never worked in your machine Tracy well I'm I'm keep trying it works okay with some but for some reason it did not work very well with this one I almost completely tore that that makes me sad all right so I'm going to put our little mouse up front here one by the grass and I was thinking I'd take some of the strawberries and put them around the thank you like have them even hanging on the thank you let's do that you can't see what I'm doing. Thought that might be kind of fun. Put this one. That's the one thing I keep forgetting is that you can't see me unless I'm putting it down, you know. Maybe that's too ambitious. Let's put them up here in the front. Well, you know, Sue, I do like the magic mat. It's It just gives me troubles every once in a while, which I don't appreciate, but um, for the most part, I do like it. All right, let's do a, diff a small strawberry down here at the bottom. Let's do that instead. Y'all will be able to see it when I'm done. 
So I'm slowly just adding little pieces to it. And I think I might save these for something else. He is so big, oh my gosh, he's so big. They had me have the lens popped out, nice. Yeah, he definitely wanted down. <laughs> This was the second card today I've seen made with strawberries. Now I want it to be summertime. I want to eat some strawberries now. You bought a bunch of alcohol inks. Awesome, Melissa. Oh, okay. Well, again, with anything, you just jump on in there. All right, so here's our first one. So just pops closed and then pops open. Isn't that fun? So this will be the one I give away today. Let's see what time we're sitting at. Oh. I don't know if I have enough time to do the other one. I don't want to keep y'all all weekend. Um, but I think the other one, I definitely want to show it to y'all. So let's see. Maybe I can... Maybe I can crank it out real quick for y'all. Or at least show you how it goes together again. Because this took a little bit longer. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks, Dawn. Strawberry lemonade sounds, oh goodness, y'all. Mm. Mm. Okay, so technically, if I wanted to add this, let me just show you. I won't make it because it is already, we're already 45 minutes in and I didn't want to do that to y'all. But um, it would go inside of here. So what that's telling me is that this card probably would have to fit into a five by seven anyway, but check that out, isn't that cute? I'll go ahead and make the card and I will post it. But, uh, how fun is that? Oh, thanks, Kim. We're in no rush, Kim. Well, the husband just got home and I realized I forgot to pull something out of the freezer, so I do have to probably come up with something for dinner. <laughs> I don't have a problem spending the weekend hanging out. Oh, I love it. I love to hang out with y'all all weekend. Thanks, Carmen, isn't it fun? This would be my favorite. And I, I'm telling you, Melissa, they're so, they're really pretty easy. And the possibilities, think about even the stamps you already have in your stash. They don't have to be lawn fun. Um, if you make the little platform, you could throw any kind of stamp in there. I was thinking about all the different hefty doodle stamps I could put in there. Um, but it definitely probably wanted to be a little smaller. I mean, you could have a bigger one. But isn't that just so cute? All right. Well, I'm still having issue with this sticking, so... I'm going to make sure it's all fixed, but leave a comment and I will go through all your little comments here from our live chat and I will pick a winner and hopefully I'll be better on things and I'll have it up by either um, Sunday or Monday. This last week got away from me, but um, breakfast. For, yeah, Mary, I think that's where we're headed. Um, I'm so glad I got to spend some time with you guys. And what is the clip button on the top? I keep hitting it instead of the chat bar. Oh, I don't know. What is that? <laughs> Anyway, yep, breakfast for dinner is the best. Yes, everybody, all of y'all get in snow. Try to stay warm. Try not to, you know, curse it too much. But um, fish tacos, ooh, that's right. That sounds so good, Mary. Yum, yum. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Like I said, I, I look forward to this every week. It just does my, does my heart so good. So you all go off, be amazingly creative. Like I know that you are and know how loved you are because I do. I love every one of y'all and... <sighs> I feel like I could go into the weekend completely refreshed now having spent time with you guys. Talk to y'all later. Bye.